Hey, my name is Alyssa Rao and I'm here with Joe Padula. He is the promoter of the Bedford Speedway and we're here to talk about the schedule. So we're obviously in 2018 now, so we're really thinking about um, putting our schedule together. So I wanted to sit down and talk with Joe about what he has planned for the Bedford Speedway. Well, thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> it's um, always an exciting time of the year. Um, everybody's making their plans for uh, you know what's coming up. and. Usually here about the middle of January is when we like to have our schedule out. Um, there's a lot of variables and things that go into it. We've been trying to work with other tracks to, uh, you know, make sure that we are getting along with them. Make sure that um, we're getting along with some of the national stuff that uh, we're not running against people. Um, so finally, we I think we have a uh, a schedule that is going to work for everybody. Um, it's always a compromise. You want to have a schedule that's good, you know, for the fans, that's good for the racers, and it's good for the track too, and um, and that's what I think we have. So uh, we're going to be putting it on online for everybody to look at. And um, here in um, April 6, about 12 weeks from today, we'll be uh, we'll be getting the dirt flying. And that'll be opening day, right? That's right, opening day on April the 6. Um, we're going to start out uh, a week before that with a practice session, like we always do. Um, and that'll be the last week of March. Um, everybody's welcome for that. Opening day is uh, Friday, April the 6th, and then we'll head right on into uh, to our regular Friday night schedule every Friday pretty much until Labor Day. I know that you are most excited about every race, but which race for this year are you the most excited about? Um, I am excited about every race because obviously uh, <laughs> Every race that we do is is uh, is special for for a variety of reasons. Um, some of the some of the bigger things that we're doing just to go over real quick. Obviously, uh, April we start off. We have our All Star Sprint Car Race that we do every year. Um, that's on Sunday, April the fifteenth, and we tied that in with uh, All Star Sprint Tour at Williams Grove and Port Royal cool. uh, the nights before. So they're going to make a little tour through the area. So we get them in. Um, in May, uh, May 11th, we have another uh, visit by Sprints, by the URC Sprints, which they come every year in May. Um, we love them. They always put on a great show. Mm -hmm. uh, you just you just can't beat the, the URCs. Um, Memorial Day weekend is our first uh, kind of special uh, late model show. And that's something we're doing it a little different this year. Usually in the past, it's been the, uh, the Johnny Grum Memorial. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we're going to re- uh, repackage it, put it together with uh, Turk Burkett, who passed away oh, yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago, and it'll be uh, Johnny Grum and Turk Burkett night. Uh, they race together, so we're going to put them together. They're going to have a lot of fun things, and uh, and that night we're going to do something kind of cool. Um, we're going to do uh, triple 35s, three 35 lap features, uh, late models, modifieds, and pure stocks, 35 laps each, uh, oh. extra money, cool. um, so that'll, that'll be, everybody will love it. Yes. Um, the following week, we have another uh, uh, late model uh, show that we're excited about. The uh, um, late model speed week is uh, taking some time off this year, so we kind of put together kind of like a mini deal with uh, Williams Grove and Port Royal, which uh, night number one of that's going to be Friday, um, June the first. Uh, then um, the next or the next night they'll be at Port Royal. The next week they'll be at Williams Grove. So that's that's a cool thing for the late models. Um, we also have, uh, moving on through the year, um, Milt Miller Night, on, uh, which is July 4th weekend, and uh, that's also going to be kind of a, uh, instead of just a big late model show, it's going to be kind of a show for everybody. We're going to do 100 total feature laps, split up, late models 30 laps, modified 25, semi late 25, four cylinder 20 laps. Um, so basically, every, you know, everybody's getting a little something extra. Uh, and then, of course, the week after that is uh, for the third year in a row, we're going to do our, uh, our 82nd anniversary race, the Billy Wynn Night, which is um, something I really like. It's kind of a, uh, um, a race we work really hard on uh, to do for our local guys, you know, for the guys that, that not only race late models here every week, but, but in this area, you know, give them a good purse, uh, a good show. Um, you know, we don't mess around with, with uh, entry fees and, and a lot of the stuff that some of these some of these tracks do. Just come race, 82nd anniversary, 8,200 to win, 50 laps. Um, then we're off. We do uh, 
and then it's and then it's fair week fair week already oh my um gosh. same as last year we're racing uh twice on at the fair mm -hmm. um sunday and friday so it'll be four divisions each night so everybody's gonna have plenty of time uh to race at the fair which as you know is always a great night i love the fair race. <laughs> <laughs> uh after the fair um you know going into august we do a five dollar night which is um you know, we always fill the place up everybody loves five dollar night yeah. um and then we're going to go th go through august we have a couple specials for the late models a couple specials for the limiteds um semi-lates modified it's pretty much everybody's getting something extra as we go through august and uh and that leads into uh to the, to the annual labor day 55 um which is the end of uh of the labor of the uh regular season um after that, you know, September comes in, we have a uh, fall fest for everybody, and uh, we're working on a couple of uh, uh, extra things for fall fest and uh, also uh, a late model show at the end of September, which uh, we're probably going to talk more about in the next week or two, but not right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, just, that's kind of a, a quick overview of some of the stuff we're doing. Um, some of the some of the fun stuff that we didn't do last year, but I'm wanting to get into this year is um, in June uh, something I've always wanted to do. You know, we do five dollar night, and that's a lot of fun. But uh, I've always thought, well, we can do we can do a little bit better. Um, so we're going to do two dollar night, two dollar admission. <laughs> uh, we have four divisions, twenty laps each, and uh, and two dollars. So that's don't awesome. complain about the yeah. high admission that night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you listed a lot of stuff for pretty much everyone, but what about the people that race here every single week? What can they expect? Well, you know, the, the, the drivers that are here every week, you know, are, are um, five and six divisions that are here every week. Um, you know, our goal is to try and do stuff for them because obviously uh, if they're not here, you know, we're not here. Um, so we're always looking to do some extra stuff, extra money, extra distance um, on nights when we don't have to charge them extra. You know, uh, a lot of times uh, guys will complain, oh, the admission price is too high. Well, we like to do extra stuff for, for guys and, you know, have them, have them be a regular night. Um, so basically throughout the year, you know, we have uh, four or five nights where we're doing um, for each, you know, pretty much each division, the modifieds, the, the semi-lates, pure stocks, four cylinders, um, you know, extra lap. Maybe it's double laps, double purse, or maybe it's five or Ten extra laps, um, but you know we try we try and throw that in uh, to make obviously each each night a little bit special. But you know to give back to to uh, you know to the racers that are here supporting us every week. All right. So a lot of people are getting involved with racing. There's a lot of kids, a lot of older people, a lot of people in general getting involved. What do you see through coming through this year for just the speedway? Do you see a lot more fans? Do you see a lot more cars? What are you seeing? Well, this is our this is going to be our seventh season here now, and I'm probably more excited about this one than I have been about about any of them. Um, basically, because of the the growth that we're seeing, um, not just here at Bedford, but kind of kind of in the whole region, um, racers wise and fans wise. You know, we've been working the last couple years to try and obviously get more people interested, more people involved. And the last couple of years, you've really seen that um, come up with, with a lot of the new drivers that have shown up, a lot of the, the younger drivers, um, people that are even older and retired are coming back, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, the, the younger, the kids like, like you and, and, uh, and Superstar over there, Hot Rod. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, with, with the growth of the, of, the, of the new drivers and fans, you know, um, we, we need to keep taking that and, and building that. Uh, you know, we 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 still do a lot of fan stuff. Um, you know, the low admission nights. We're going to try two dollar night this year. Uh, our admission prices haven't gone up here at Bedford in uh, since 2007, which is now 11 racing seasons ago. Um, so that you know keeps the fan involvement. And then on the drivers' end, you know, we're trying to give everybody good shows, um, fair shows, nice shows that keeps the you know the 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 local drivers interest and I think we've succeeded at that because you're seeing um, you know a lot of new interest come in so this year I'm really excited you know to take you know the, the past couple years growth 
and build uh, some of the new fun things that we're putting together and, and hopefully have a really exciting year. Um, you know, I think that everybody should be optimistic, not just about things that are going in here at Bedford, but, uh, you know, all over the place. You know, you have, uh, you know, down at Cumberland opening up, you know, they're bringing a bunch of new people in. Um, some of the other tracks that are doing a lot of fun stuff. So uh, racing is, is in a good place, and we're, we're excited here, and, uh, and I think everybody, everybody else should be. I know, looking at the schedule, I'm definitely excited. <laughs> well, that's good. Yes. I want, we want excited, yes. we want excited, excited. people. Yes. So we talked a lot about the racers. Um, let's talk a little bit about the fans. What do you have planned for not only kids, but just fans in general? Well, obviously, um, you know, we got to take care of the fans just as much as we got to take care of the racers. Mm -hmm. um, no fans, no, no show. Um, so the biggest thing we do for the fans, which is, you know, goes without saying, is uh, try and give them a really good show for uh, as low an admission as possible. Give them, you know, bang for the buck. But uh, some of uh, my favorite things that I like to do, obviously, um, uh, kids' night over the last couple of years has really taken off, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, we do, we do the kids' car rides, which every year it seems like the line of kids uh, waiting to get... <laughs> on the track to get a ride, you know, it gets longer and longer and longer, uh, you know, which is, which is fantastic. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of giveaways and fun that night, um, do the kids candy toss, which is, uh, you know, probably one of my most favorite things of the whole year. And, and that's, and that's another thing. Every year we bring the kids out for, for the candy and, it, and the line just gets longer and longer and longer and longer. Um, I got to keep buying more and more candy, which, which, which is a good problem to have. So uh, obviously, you know, we love Kids Night, and uh, you, know, you do a lot of that, and, and we really appreciate that because uh, we got to keep keep the kids involved because uh, you know a five year old kid now, ten years from now, is going to be uh, you know here potentially racing, and uh, and we got to keep the um, the next generation coming and coming. Um, we also uh, obviously we've done um, five dollar fan night the last couple years, which. Uh, has always been one of the biggest crowds of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that in August. Uh, this year, uh, in June, we want to do a uh, $2 night. $2! Which, uh, if anybody doesn't like that, then then I don't know what to tell you. Um, we're going to do uh, uh, four divisions, 20 laps each, so it'll be a little bit extra for, for the racers that night, uh, and hopefully a whole bunch extra for the fans. But um, you know, throughout the year, uh, any opportunity we get, you, uh, if we have the opportunity to do something special for the fans in the stands, you know, we, we need to, even if it's just something like um, uh, donations to, uh, to to various groups or giveaways, things like that. Um, basically, any opportunity you have, you, you should do it, and uh, and that's something we really we really try to do here. Right. So uh, hopefully, um, you know, everybody that comes in this year. Uh, you know, not every night's the, uh, the greatest night ever, but hopefully everybody that comes in uh, enjoys themselves because uh, because we're working really hard to uh, to uh, try to make it an enjoyable experience for everybody. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. I'm excited about this year, and I'm sure that you are too. Um, I'm sure that all the fans will be excited now that they hear a little bit about what the season's going to be like. Um, thank you again for doing this with me. Um, and I wanted to say a quick thank you to All Things Automotive for making this possible. And was there anything else you wanted to say? I just wanted to thank you for uh, all your hard work for uh, putting this together. I want to thank your, your fantastic cameraman, Bo Akey. Uh He didn't finish as far ahead as you on the calendar this year, but we can wish him, uh, uh, we can wish him a great season as well. So thank you to everybody and uh, to everybody that's watching. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you here in a, in a couple weeks in April. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys.